kind of space. Starting my journey the next day. Of the and those are with uh, filling up. two of my best friends. But Mark before you Thad, get your luggage into the bin, so make sure they close awesome before you walk away from them. Otherwise, you'll end up having to check them. Four days, we're in Prague for two days, we're in Munich for three days, and getting to experience Oktoberfest. So buckle up. Just had to get off the plane. There was an alarm going off in the cockpit. Only the first row of people got off, and they said they're, they're holding the rest of the people on the plane, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Our departure time is only delayed, I guess it's about an hour and a half now, but it looks like our arrival time is still pretty close to only being about an hour late, so we'll see what happens. I think we're gonna get there either way tomorrow morning, so fingers crossed. About two hours late, but we are on our way to Amsterdam. I just started, got a a movie, so all is well. Should get to Amsterdam about 10 o'clock in the tomorrow morning, so there you go. We made it to Amsterdam. Made it to Amsterdam. We are going to the hotel. I'm gonna hopefully shower. Hopefully our room is ready. Yeah. And then uh, do a little exploring. Yep. Market's in in about five, four, two hours. Two hours. <laughs> To our crib. It's our living room. Bedroom number one. Half bathroom. Master bedroom. Bathroom, sauna, shower. And big closet. Probably the coolest room I've ever stayed in. The Dubai room with Mal a couple months ago is probably a close second now. But this place is awesome. We're right in the middle of downtown. And so central location for us to do plenty of exploring. Can't wait to share it. It was not the best. Hello, Mark and welcome to Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> Mark got a baby beer. <laughs> it's super cute. Day two in Amsterdam. Today's mission is beers brunch with the bros. First stop, coffee and coconut. A very good brunch spot. And also, most Instagramable cafe in Amsterdam. Finished our breakfast, brunch. Now we are at the Heineken Experience. We're gonna take the tour and maybe get some Beer to try. Beer. This is the historic brew room in the Heineken plant. It smells like yeast and beer and it's definitely a unique smell. I'm gonna die. <laughs> It's just got interesting. Yeah. Hey there, I'm Alex, and I will be your guide today for an extraordinary experience. <laughs> you can imagine, we're quite used to that in Holland. Anyway, we mix the water and malt until it becomes mashed. Heineken uses only the very best hops to give you just the slight touch of bitterness, lots of flavor, and a delicious aroma. Welcome to the tasting bar. 
second bar of beer is ready for you. I know it's a small beer, but don't worry, get two more big beers downstairs. I know it's small, but it's very cute. Second bar, these are all mine. 50 50. Yeah. Right, is that ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Bro. Take a big sip. Finish it. Oh, nice. Plus, We are showered, uh, refreshed, we're headed over to the Delirium Cafe now where there is a craft beer festival thingy. Beer. So we're gonna try some new beers. Good morning everybody, day four here in Amsterdam. Today's goal is to um, check out the Anne Frank house, a um, little bit of history, a little bit of culture, and um, maybe one of the museums here. Um, ha yesterday was a very relaxing day. We did massages and just a really great dinner at this restaurant called Guts and Glory. If you're ever in Amsterdam, I highly recommend it. They uh, change their menu up every three months and focus on a, either specific region or specific food. Um, our region for our dinner last night was Spain and everything was really, really good. So if you're in Amsterdam, want to check out a good restaurant, check, check out Guts and Glory. Hit the Amsterdam sign when you're in Amsterdam. <laughs> Since the Anne Frank house is closed, we're going to check out this Moco Museum. It has works by Dolly and Banksy, so it should be pretty neat. Pretty neat. Pretty, pretty neat. Well, we got our dose of culture for the day. Checked out the uh, Mocha Museum, full of artwork by Banksy, the uh, graffiti artist. And uh, some Salvador Dali stuff too, so pretty cool museum. And now we are going to, I don't know, do a little bit more exploring. <laughs> 